Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, how much air can you fit in your lungs? Well, other than running you over with a steamroller, we're probably not going to be able to get an accurate measurement on that. But we can work at uh, determining how much air can you forcibly exhale from your lungs, which is what this lesson and activity is all about today. So we are still working on learning the basic structure of the respiratory system, how we exchange gases and building and using models. So here comes another model. Um, the inquiry you'll find is continuation of yesterday's sponge model, which uh, you are now going to build a different apparatus to measure the exhaled volume of air. You'll find it on page 92 in your uh, book. Form number 003 on Classroom is where you will report your results. Uh, and then we may probably not, if that's a way to phrase that properly, uh, get the chance to look at our analysis of the res results. Uh, we'll get to that when we can, but we're going to chart and analyze and, and see if what we can learn from, from our investigation. Uh, so here's how it breaks down. Uh, they open with a, a little hook on uh, burps versus hiccups and the discussion happens on page 77, 78 in the Excuse Me, Please article. Uh, you've got the bell jar model to examine as it goes around the class. Interact with the model, see what you can figure out in terms of uh, air pressure and breathing. Um, I have for you number 002 on classroom, which is a respiration model. It is basically a learning sketch pad. Uh, this is where you diagram what you are learning about respiration, uh, labeling parts, anything you can to create a model that shows your understanding of human breathing. Uh, and then move on to the sponge model. Materials are at the back table. And the things to focus on in that are 92.8 A and B questions. And then page 94, the first reflecting question. Uh, we're going to want to discuss those to get the best use out of our time. Okay, And here's what you're reporting on the form whether you're male or female, uh, at birth, your genetic maleness or femaleness, uh, measure your height in centimeters, report that as the second question. And then the third is after you've taken an average of three trials in exhaled volume, calculate the average and report it. And that's our day.